ionization constants of weak acids and weak bases. We have done already the ionization constants and how to derive it. Let me give an example. Like suppose we have an acid HA which when added to water gives hydronium ion and A minus. We can express its dissociation as Ka which is called dissociation constant of acid. It will be hydronium ions concentration, A minus concentration and acids concentration. And we know that we have derived it. It is K is equal to C alpha square 1 minus alpha where this alpha is the degree of dissociation and C is the concentration of the acid taken. See we can express, I have told you the hydronium ion concentration in this is C alpha. So if anybody asks us to find out the pH, it will be minus log of hydronium ions concentration, it will be minus log of remember C alpha. That is going to give us the pH of this acid in water. Similarly, we can also express this dissociation constant also in terms of the power of K, like we have been expressing the power of H ions concentration. What is the use? This K will also will become a very simple term which will be very easy to remember and easy to understand. Now the formula will be therefore, if we write PK it will be minus log of Ka. But remember, if in place of Ka, we are using the term PKA, power of Ka, the meanings will be exactly the opposite. What does that mean? It means that, let me tell you here, the strength of acid is directly proportional to Ka, higher the value of dissociation constant stronger is your acid but remember it will be inversely proportional to your pka because pk is the negative log of this term since it is negative term smaller is the value of pk larger is your ka and stronger is your acid and vice versa so always remember if anybody asks say that I am having acid 1 with pKa 2 and there is acid 2 whose pKa is 4 which is a stronger acid. The pKa acid 1 or acid 2? It is the acid 1 because the smaller the pKa is, the larger is the Ka, larger is the Ka it means stronger is the acid. Same thing is applicable for base also, which can be written as PKB will be equal to negative log of KB and remember the strength of base will be directly proportional to KB and inversely proportional to PKB. That means, if your stronger is your base, of course larger will be its dissociation constant Kb, which is called the dissociation or ionization constant of the base, and the smaller will be your Pkb value because it is the negative term. So this is how we can interpret what exactly is the meaning of the Ka, Kb, or Pk, or Pkb, and we usually use them in the ionization constants of weak acids and weak bases. And this is how we can compare their strength also.